Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man, Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. Are you ready? what's going on happy Tuesday Wednesday hey we're losing track of the days because I've non-stop put on content for you guys but we're not seeing it here nor there we got come on for the day I seen that Pistons talk talk about this uh, a few days ago shout out to Pistons talk man go subscribe to him great YouTube channel go show him some love over there but before we dissect into this Blake Griffin stuff this Saturday 1 p.m. 313 Jamos channel I'm going to try to put it on both of our channels. I don't know how well that's going to work. I don't know if that's extra. I don't know. Um, but it's going to be primarily on JMO's channel. We have a very special guest. Uh, probably the best guest we have had. No offense to any of the other guests that come onto the show. Again, not disrespecting you. But this is really huge for us. We have G League player from the Grand Rapids Drive, Craig Sword, coming in. Wow. This is awesome, man. Shout out to the Secrets Got Next, a.k.a. Pistons Post, for uh, asking him to come on. And he's accepted it. So we are going to have a G League player come on our show and talk some NBA hoops with us, man. It is going to be awesome. So you're going to want to subscribe to JMO and be sure to stay tuned for all that. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. But let's dissect into this. This is coming from, boom, this website right here. Um, this is something that could be a real possibility. And it's got a lot of big terminology. And pretty much uh, what I'm going to do is tell you what it means. Back in 2011, there was a rule where the, I almost said the Pistons, but any team could cut anybody, no matter how big or small the salary cap was, and it wouldn't affect you. So, for example, when we cut Josh Smith, we just stopped paying Josh Smith. If in 2011 we did that, we wouldn't have to pay him. And if right now we did that, we wouldn't have to pay him. So Blake's got the biggest contract on the team. And we're looking to go in a completely different direction right now, kind of. Um... They are talking that the Pistons would probably do this if this comes into reality. And it would be a very realistic uh, option for the Pistons. I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger on it. This is probably going to be a huge move either way. To cut Blake Griffin and not have to pay him all that money. First of all, that would be just an absolute doucher move to do. Uh, Cold-blooded to trade for somebody and then cut him. But at the end of the day, it's what's best for business. You know, Blake, I love Blake Griffin. I don't want to see him go anywhere else. Um, I just, you know, I love the dude. No, no, nothing like that, you know. Caught myself. <laughs> I, I love having Blake Griffin on this team. He's huge for us on the court and off the court. Great stand-up guy. But, you know, how much really is he part of this team's future? When you got young prospects like Christian Wood and Sekou that this team really kind of wants to go towards that direction... You know, someone like Blake Griffin's going to get in the way of their minutes. You know, Blake's better than both of those guys right now, but he's injury prone. His contract is a lot of money. So for the Pistons to uh, be able to move on from him, if there's no trade value for him, you got to do what you got to do. You know, I will always respect Blake Griffin no matter what the Pistons do. I'm never going to bash Blake Griffin unless he says something bad about Detroit, but he's not that kind of guy. You know, he's not. Detroit fans have embraced him and really encouraged him. Um, I don't know how what the deadline for this thing is, but like, like I said, I will root for Blake Griffin wherever he goes. He has earned my respect for just trying and willing this team to get into the playoffs and win some games. We didn't get there, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, for the Pistons to do this, it just clears up more salary cap. I'm not really worried about the salary cap right now because I'm looking at free agents. There's just not a ton of good free agents right now. Uh, but you have to start looking at this at a different point in time. We have a lot of guys starting to come up on uh, off the rookie deals. You know, we're going to have to re-sign Christian Wood. Luke Kennard is going to be a free agent before we know it. And then next year, there's going to be a really good pool of free agents. So it would also make sense for that reason to be kind of looking at this thing and going into next year of we want to re-sign people. We're looking at free agency and, you know, we're really taking that seriously. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that would come into effect to do so. 
I don't think this franchise has any ill will towards Blake, and I don't think Blake has any ill will towards them. I think this would just be strictly a business move. Uh, a lot of people at ESPN think that Blake Griffin would be the most likely candidate of uh, this to be happening because, you know, like I said, we're, we're rebuilding. He's a lot of money. He's older. It is what it is. Uh, there wouldn't be any penalty for the Pistons to do so. They wouldn't have to pay him all this money. It's kind of a shame to Blake to uh, work hard for that money. Again, I don't know if the league pays him. I don't know if he's guaranteed that money yet. Or still, I, I don't know the full bells and whistles. All I know is the Pistons won't have him on their books anymore. So uh, leave it down in the comments what you guys think. Again, Bob the Rim on Jamal's channel this Saturday at 1 p.m. with special guest G League player from the Great Rapids Drive, Chris, Craig Sword. I caught myself again. Uh, <laughs> links to Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, DSA website, all in the description. Check all that guys out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace.